I came here this morning to see this grove of rather large mango trees. I grew up with these massive mango trees just down the road from me and I'd always considered them to be well over 50 years old but I'd never really known for sure. This is or was a rural area but recently a whole lot of development's been going on as the city's expanded, it's swallowing up this area and it's becoming the outer suburbs. High density housing's going in and a lot of clearing as you can see off in the distance. I figured it was only a matter of time until this section here got cleared and I was really worried that these trees would be a casualty of that clearing. I wanted to come and see them one last time and film them in case that did happen. And when I got home I actually did a bit of research into who might have planted these trees and I found that they're actually heritage listed and although the development is going in around them and this highway has been built right beside them, the trees are actually going to be saved, which is one thing at least that I'm very happy about. Unfortunately, I was unable to find the actual age of these trees, but looking through the other heritage listed landmarks, the youngest one was built in the year 1900. So it's fair to say that these mangoes are at least 100 years old. They're probably from around that time or a little bit earlier. I also found another listing from a nearby area where the trees were planted in the 1870s and those trees are smaller than these. While I have seen larger mango trees up north, these are the largest I've actually seen in Brisbane. Now I'm sure there's larger trees in Brisbane, I know there's definitely older trees in Brisbane, I just haven't seen them yet, hopefully one day I will. As for cultivar, these are seedling trees and while the most common tree planted in this area is a Kensington Pride, I mean I am in Australia. Kensington Pride didn't actually or wasn't widespread as a cultivar when these trees would have been planted. These are too old to be Kensington Pride. Now I have seen the mangoes, I remember them being small and although I've never eaten one I imagine they're what we'd call turpentine mangoes, small turpentine flavoured mangoes. They're not the best for eating, they, use, they do make a good root stock um, but excellent trees nonetheless. As for the size, I estimate the trees are about 15 meters or 50 feet tall. I might be wrong on that, that's just a guess. And the trunks would have to be a meter across most of them. They are very big trees. About 100 meters down the road there's another group of very large mango trees that were obviously planted at the same time as this original grove. I'm not sure if these trees are included in that protection, so these ones might not be here to stay, which would be a real shame. One in particular rivals any tree in the grove for size. It's off by itself and so obviously has full sun, and probably has done for the last hundred years or so. It is a truly immense tree. No tree is forever, and we shouldn't expect them to be. But I am glad these trees are being protected and that future generations will get to see and enjoy these trees. Their history is important to the area and it's just so fantastic to see a large full grown mango tree. Not many people would realise that a mango tree actually grows this large when grown under ideal conditions and not pruned annually. I for one am glad that these trees will go on for at least another hundred years or so. Thanks for watching.